This is Jonathan Hansen, President of World Ministries International. And I want to welcome you once again to the Warning Television Program, where this is going to be our second program on Kenya, a mission trip I took August 2015. Not only did I have major services in churches, but I was in a, a national uh, meeting with the Maasai, the Nations of the Maasai. Also, we were in orphanages. We were in uh, dental clinics. We were in uh, our Bible school, uh, public schools that we have opened up in slums or helped to, to build and refurbish. So we're doing an awful lot in Kenya. My primary task is always meeting with governments and leadership, and I did it on that trip too. But uh, Kenya and East Africa, Islam's trying to take over Kenya, but uh, with God's grace, we'll stop it. Now, you're going to go and see a roll-in where I'm preaching for Bishop Thomas Muthi in his church in Kiambu. And so pay attention uh, to the words because the, the words spoken will also be applicable to you and your life and how you can receive your healing. So I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Kenya is in deep, deep trouble. Uh, but yet, with God's grace, uh, Kenya can have a tremendous revival and a renewal, and we can turn that nation around for Jesus. Let's go to Kenya now. Goliath's height was six cubits in a span. A cubit is approximately 18 to 21 inches. So Goliath was somewhere around 10 to 13 feet. This would be his height. But now let's look at Goliath's height spiritually. First Samuel 17, 5 through 6. Goliath had a helmet of brass upon his head, armed with a coat of mail. The weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels of brass, greaves of brass on his legs, a target of grass be between his shoulders. Now, brass is a symbol of sin and judgment. We're talking about in the Bible. So Goliath's head was covered with sin. His head was covered with judgment. Goliath's whole thinking was judgment, sin, rebellion, blasphemy against God. It says he has a coat of mail. The armor was woven wire made of brass. His legs were covered with brass. Now the legs have to do with our walk. So we find that Goliath's whole body was covered with sin from the top to the bottom. The way he thought, the way he spoke, the way he walked, he was a man of sin, a man of rebellion. 1 Samuel 17, 7. It says, and the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam. His spear's head weighed 600 shekels of iron. One bearing a shield went before him. So Goliath carried a spear. 
Goliath's spear weighed 600 shekels of iron. Na orito wa itimori ya kere wari shekeri magana matada to makege shia kegera. So Goliath had six pieces of armor. Let's break it down. One, he had a helmet of brass. Two, he had a coat of mail. Three and four, he had greaves of brass, one for each leg. Five, he had a target of brass between his shoulders. And six, he had a spear of brass. Okay, let's do the math. Goliath with his height, Goliath's height, weight, of his spearhead and his six pieces of armor reveals six plus six plus six or the great man of sin covered from head to toe with sin speaking words of blasphemy coming against the real God saying if you don't come under his leadership he'll kill you and the army of Saul was afraid. The armies of Saul was afraid. They were afraid of this blasphemy coming out of Goliath. Blaspheming the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The church today is afraid of men spewing their blasphemy. We're afraid of leaders spewing their blasphemy. They're afraid of Islamic leaders and Muhammad spewing his blasphemy. If you don't come under Islam, they'll kill you. God is afraid of nobody. And he's not afraid of a false prophet. Can you say amen? Come on, say amen. We're afraid of nothing. It's time to kick Satan out of the camp. It's time to take back the garden. It's time to take back the garden. Adam failed to leave. God gave Adam authority. He gave Adam dominion. He gave Adam responsibility. Adam was supposed to rule and reign. Adam was supposed to cast Satan out of the garden. Adam failed. No, Adam Adam fell. His wife fell. A lot of the church today were afraid. We're not exercising authority. We're not making disciples. We're not ruling and reigning. We're not putting righteous men in the parliament. We don't demand righteous men behind the pulpit. Satan is ruling instead. Evil men are ruling instead. False religions are are. Starting to kill Christians and they're threatening to kill.
war and they're threatening to take over your nation. It's time for the church to leave. It's time for the church to reign. It's time for the church to occupy. It's time for the church to take dominion. It's time for the church to make disciples. Come on, can you say amen? Either you rule or they rule you. If they rule you, you're persecuted. Hundreds of Kenya pastors sent a strong message to Obama. Please leave the preaching to us. God bless the Kenya pastors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. President Barack Hussein Obama, keep your mouth shut. You don't know the gospel of Jesus Christ. You spread abominations all through the world with your backing of homosexuality. Obama, President Barack Hussein Obama, we have to tell you all the way, we have to tell you how to do it, we have to tell you how to do it, we have to tell you how to do it, and we have to tell you how to do it, and we have to tell you how to do it, and we have to tell you how to do it. Amen! 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 If you want to back homosexuality, you'll be damned with homosexuality. If you want to back homosexuality, you will be damned with homosexuality. Can you say amen? Amen. Do you understand that sodomy is what brought, the, that goes way back into removing yourself from the image of God. You go way back in resisting the ways of God. You are now so depraved, you act like an animal. And so depraved, you want to rape the angels. And so depraved, that's what brings judgment. And God judged Sodom and Gomorrah. Come on, say amen. Amina. Kenyan leaders ask Obama to respect Christian beliefs, policies on homosexuality. Uganda president replies Barack Obama on his reaction to gay anti-law. President Museveni said, we are a Christian nation, we are not going to back homosexuality, Mr. President of the United States. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God bless you, President Museveni. Zimbabwe President Mugabe proposes to Obama mocks gay marriage of Supreme Court decision. President uh, Mugabe wa Zimbabwe akira Obama terere no kuria otueke mutumia wakwa no ne kumuthekerera ati munyararagia igoria police ciao cia gay marriage igoria Africa. Mugabe told Obama don't you realize the Bible is against sodomy? Mugabe told Obama we will not allow homosexuality in Zimbabwe. Mugabe told Obama, maybe I should come to America, get on my knees. You're such a fair-skinned black man, and maybe I should ask you to marry me. Barack. 
Barack Hussein Obama, Arabic Muslim name. He is backing Sunni Islam all over the world. He's coming against the, the rights of the Christian community. He backs homosexuality. He backs killing babies. He backs Sharia law. This man is an enemy of the church. Atereri, Barack Hussein Obama, ataidagiria a mafrodi mothe ma maitheramu thini wa bururi, agato ataidagiria atongoria a othe aitheramu, agataidagiria uhoro wa ge a muthuri koicia muthuri mutumia koicia mutumia, akarugamira policies isio Barack Obama ni mundu mwaganu ni mundu muru. Come on, say amen. Ugai ameni. We are the gatekeepers. We are the watchmen. We must bring in righteous leaders into the government. If you back immoral leaders that back sins of abomination, you'll be judged. Your nation will be judged. The nation will be cursed and judgment will fall. Oh, hallelujah. 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 We should not be tribalistic people. We are not racist. We are brother and sister. We are one tribe. We are one nation. We have one father. Adam and Eve were our mother and father. Jesus Christ was our creator. We are one under God. One nation. One tribe. One people. In the family of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? Haraka. Come on. Quickly, quickly. This is a spiritual son. I produce spiritual sons and daughters. If you're a good fruit, if you're a good tree, it produces good fruit. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a good son. If, if he wanted to be president of the United States, I'd vote for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're the same. We, we are the same. We, we, we are part of the same kingdom. The same tribe. The same spirit. The same God. And God sees nothing but blood. Red blood. The blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? Amen. We even look the same, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your bishop is a brother. He would die for me. I know that I would die for him. We are the same tribe. The same tribe. The same God. The same Father. The same kingdom. The same nation. The nation of Jesus Christ. The Lion of Judah. Come on, say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've missed you. Have you missed me? Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. <laughs> because we're family. We are family. We are family. You know a little bit about my family. I have three white daughters and a black, a black daughter from Africa. And they all have my name, Hanson. Because God gave me all. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
a little street girl that they tried to cut off her head. God said, that's your daughter. A little street girl in Africa, they tried, the Muslims tried to cut her off her head and she was in the streets bleeding to death and God said, that's your daughter. Can you say, man, she's my daughter. It doesn't matter if she looks like me. It doesn't matter if she has my skin. She has my name. Because God said, that's your daughter. God has pulled us together. We are family. Because we have the same spirit, the God spirit, the Holy Spirit living in us. And we are family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't come to many churches more than once. Well, I have television and radio. We're on seven days a week to millions of people. Last I was in Hudu Park uh, two years ago in front of Kenya National Television, I spoke in front of the vice president on what God needed to do to save Kenya, what the church needed to do. You might have watched that television program. Uh, you might have watched the television program. I told the church you must be steady as the rock. Steady as the rock. Steady as the rock. The rock. The Holy Spirit documented in written form. Steady as God. A sure foundation. Anointed and powerful as the apostles. Dedicated and committed as the prophets. And determined never to compromise as the martyrs. Can you say amen? If we can do that, no weapon formed against us will prosper. We will, not, we will not be afraid of demons or men. But we will take back every area of government from the city to the county to the districts to the all through the parliament will rule church will reign and the Christians will prosper. Come on, can you say man? We've got a good start. We've got a good start. Moses had a good start. But the, the leaders did not rally around Moses. They conspired and said against him. And thousands and thousands and thousands of the leaders and people died. And they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years, suffering because they would not unite under godly leadership. I believe that this church is going to take more land. You're going to take more areas of, of this city. You're going to take more areas of this nation. You're going to take more areas of other nations. I believe you're uniting behind the bishop against the man of sin. You can come against the new world order. You can come against every evil religion, every false prophet. This church can receive manna from Jesus, water out of the rock. You can be blessed by God himself. Can you say, man? The warning television and radio programs are means by which Dr. Jonathan Hansen, through World Ministries International, 
WMI, endeavor to prepare God's people, governments, and society for the soon coming day of Christ the Lord. Dr. Hansen's free monthly newsletter is another means by which this is done. This is sent out in paper hard copy as well as in digital email formats. You can telephone 360-629-5248, 360-629-5248 to request your subscription today or visit www.worldministries.org. That is www.worldministries.org and click on the Contact Us link. WMI is a 100% partner-supported ministry. It is through tithes, missions, love offerings, and donations given to WMI that Dr. Hansen is able to share the warning message to church leadership, political leaders, and society as a whole. World Ministries International needs the committed support of people who see the increasing relevance of the warning message to be shared in this time we are in. Are you a prayer warrior with an intercessor's anointing and have a burden for Dr. Jonathan Hansen and World Ministries International? If so, we need to hear from you so that we can unite together in strategy and prayer. Telephone 360-629-5248, 360-629-5248, and request to become a member of the Soldiers of the Cross prayer team. Or visit www.worldministries.org and sign up to be a member of Soldiers of the Cross through the prayer and intercessor links on the website. The Lord told Dr. Hansen that there are 200,000 supporting newsletter recipients and 2,000 supporting intercessors in every nation that are there to join in the battle and sounding the alarm to the people and nations. Please join the ranks of those who seek to fight on behalf of the truths of God's Word with the prosperity, liberty, and freedoms it brings. For any monthly commitment of $25 or more, a partner will receive Dr. Hansen's monthly newsletter and one week's warning radio message on CD or cassette tape. For any monthly commitment of $100 or more, a partner will receive four of Dr. Hansen's warning television programs on DVD, in addition to the warning radio program on CD and the monthly newsletter. Please understand that no materials sent by Dr. Jonathan Hansen and WMI are distributed as a result of a purchase, but are shared with recipients as Dr. Hansen's way of saying thank you for your support. You can support WMI by using Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover by dialing 360-629-5248, 360-629-5248. Again, dial 360-629-5248. You can send a check or money order in U.S. dollars to World Ministries International, P.O. Box 277, Stanwood, Washington, 98292. Again, that's World Ministries International, P.O. Box 277, Stanwood, Washington, 98292. Visit us on Facebook at Dr. Jonathan Hansen, World Ministries International. Shalom, and may the Lord richly bless you.